right, what's up, y'all? We are here in Dallas, getting ready to head to Croatia. Two weekends, week together, uh, getting ready to head on the flight, Aer Lingus. Quick layover in Dublin, and then uh, headed to Croatia. Get uh, some things landing, some Game of Thrones on, so let's go check it out. Signed it to Tim only. <laughs> I was like, couldn't find paper, I couldn't figure out how to do it. There you go. <laughs> Made it to Dubrovnik. We are here at Hotel Kazbek. Full tour coming up, but uh, let's just check it out. Some, uh, some caves. Hopefully the boat fits. Okay. We'll see. <laughs> Not entirely sure. Um, We're yeah. just gonna have a trust the boat hashtag. Hashtag trust the boat. <laughs> hashtag trust dragon. Also, Captain's name is Dragon. That is boss. Side, oh, you can the... swim back around? Yes. No, did you say you must have a mask? A mask yes, for, yes. for what reason? You have to go underwater? Uh, because it's you... underwater talent. <laughs> 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 you want to go? The one on the left? On the left go side, you can dive down. And uh, you can see from the end, it's go a few meters inside, and you can see with the mask. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, boat jumping, here we go. Sisters Cave. We are in the right sister? That's a little weird to say. <laughs> we went the right sister. Gotta get it right now. Here is what is this? Uh the middle sister? Yeah. Yeah. We are here at the middle sister of three. Okay, Mike the strong swimmer. Third sister. Steve's going in. Just went through the last of the three sisters. That was absolutely insane. You have to go underwater several times. Very claustrophobic. Uh, so if you're claustrophobic, probably not for you, but we did have several people do it. Just found some ground to stand on, but that was amazing. Hopefully some of those shots turned out. Oh, All right, so we just arrived at uh, an amazing okay. hotel. Okay, I think we're gonna go get some food and uh, jump off the yacht. Check out this place. Yeah. Been out doing a uh, boat tour most of the day, exploring some of the islands around Dubrovnik. Uh, but as you can see, we made it to uh, a quick little pit stop for lunch, some hotel, some ridiculous pool, crazy views behind us. So let's go grab a meal. We got most of our crew back here. Uh, everybody's kind of hanging out. So we grab a quick lunch off of the view and then uh, keep the day going. Cheers. Drink. Uh-oh. 
Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. those who remember the very iconic walk of shame. The bulk of that scene takes place right here. Gonna ring the bell. Gonna do the walk of shame. Yeah, but you have to be naked. Steve, I don't want to see you. Six, no one, one does. Like <laughs> Obviously there's a green screen all up behind here, the actual spot. But one th cool thing we saw here the other day was they have shame mojitos. <laughs> Yes, points for that, 100%. should look really familiar if you remember season two Daenerys kind of running around the house of the undying this is where they shot the house of the undying so she was walking circles in this direction back here just around and around very cool trying to chase her dragons yo somebody lost their dragons where are the dragons <laughs> check this out back here the entire king's landing but uh, Dubrovnik, Old Town Croatia. So there's a wall that wraps around the entire city. Um, you pay uh, about like 60 bucks, maybe 200 kuna to get up and uh, walk around the walls, but there's tons of bars, restaurants, all these things to do. So let's go check it out. For any of the fans who are curious, Blackwater Bay, right here. All season two, episode nine for the nerds out there. Appreciate you guys. I'm right there with you. This is nuts, absolutely nuts. You can see the wall goes all the way around there as well too, so it's a huge walk. All the way around? It's yeah. halfway point here. Yes. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers. Drink. So, another cool thing about the wall is you get to have a beer. Or a wine. Or another wine. Another wine. <laughs> DJ Cass. <laughs> Let's, Let's do it. And if anybody was wondering, yes. Full court soccer and basketball in King's Landing just in case you weren't sure. Another really cool thing about the city walls is cave bars. You can go swimming while you're having a beer, having a wine, and even having a meal, but you can jump off right into the Adriatic. This is bonkers. Awesome. Hopefully you guys can see and appreciate this. Golden Hour is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely worth it. Highly recommend. Do the old town walk on the top of the city walls because it's this is just mental. Alright, bus trip. Here we go. Yay! Montenegro! <laughs> Montenegro! Let's do it! Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Today we are visiting the country of Montenegro. First, a short introduction. My name is the Davor, D A V O R. Alright, made it to part of Kotor here in Montenegro. <laughs> Let's get a view. Let's get a view in the back. Alright guys, made it to Kotor. 
We've got the uh, beautiful city behind us. Tim, are we yeah. getting a beach shooting film? We are. Sure we are. 100%. Yeah. 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 I like okay. to say 100%. Uh, so. Welcome in front of the old town of Kotor. Your local guard is already here. Her name is Sandra. Hi, Sandra. And she will be your local guard for the first part of your stay. After the guided tour, you will enjoy your free time. Here's to Montenegro. Made it to the small town of Frost, 200 people in the town. Used to be a lot more way back in the day. They also have a uh, man-made island back there, and then regular island. The man-made island has a church on it that's still active today. So we're gonna go check out some more of the town. She, she's, she's in distress. <laughs> yeah, another glass of wine will fix that. I mean, you can't meow. Meow. Hey, you're in there, you're in there. Click, 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 click. There you go. Plevichka State Park, probably saying that wrong. We're gonna go check out the E-Trail for a couple of hours. The lake system is divided into upper and lower lake. Today's appearance of the lake system is a result of the Chupa formation process. All right, so that gives you a little bit of why it's like upper and lower, upper and lower lakes. Lakes are separated by tufa or travertine barriers. Aha! Uh -huh. I don't know any of those words except barriers. <laughs> so we got some, got some words to look up. This is insane. Amazing, beautiful, worth the drive. Definitely worth the uh, staying in Dubrovnik, six hours.
made it to Split. Just hopping on the uh, ferry. We're gonna go check out, uh, check out Bar. Dubrovnik to Split in a car, four hours. We left 5.40 to make a 10 a.m. ferry, which you definitely wanna book ahead of time. Definitely got a seat, but it's filling up, filling up quickly. But that drive out was gorgeous. Basically every single mountain town that's there is a beach and then like a town surrounding the beach. So hopefully the uh, bar is equally as exciting. We successfully got off the ferry. A quick little bite to eat and some awesome uh, free shots. two fortresses there is a Spanish fortress as well as a French fortress that Napoleon was involved with and if you look all the way up top of that hill there is the French fortress so bigger taller a lot harder to get to but from here you can see the view of all of our down below Uh, Cypress, yeah. what is it? Cypress pine and um, you have a cactus over there. <laughs> palm trees, yeah, cactus, palm trees, pine, cypress, and oak that they used to farm in Dubrovnik and Montenegro. Pretty wild, a little bit of everything. So, once you get done with the castle tour, you can see views like this, which is pretty, pretty amazing. So, highly recommend the Spanish castle. If you guys get a chance to come up here, definitely go check out the French one if possible. But if you don't want to hike as much, go see the Spanish castle or the Spanish fortress. Yeah. 